have a friend who says we shouldn't need accountability in the church because it means we aren't trusting in Christ alone to set us free from sin. What would you say to that? Right. Uh, I would probably quote the Bible where God says in many ways, exhort one another, admonish one another, teach one another. Confess your sins to one another. These are all means of grace appointed by God to help us be Godward. So it, it's a superficial logic to say real trust in Jesus needs nobody. In fact, Paul wrote 1 Corinthians 12, don't say to the hand, I have no need of you. So, so a, a superficial logic would say, oh, if the eye cannot say to the hand, I mean, if the eye says to the hand, I have no need, I need you, then you don't need Jesus as much. That's superficial. God has ordained that his grace come directly through reading the Bible and prayer and come indirectly through Ask Pastor John. I mean, if the person asks me that question, why are they doing that? Just go to God. I mean, you don't need me. Uh, it, we, you do need me. You do need David. You do need your pastor. You do need your parents. You do need friends. Everybody needs people because God has set it up to get, here's the key, to get more glory through a church and its interaction than through solitary little isolated individuals all over the world sending up their little prayers of praise in solitary closets, never getting anything from anybody, never giving anything to anybody, just me and God totally satisfied and you don't exist. I've just got God and that's all I need. God looked at that possible world and he said, no, not a good idea. I will create an organic thing called, first of all, called humanity rooted in Adam as a covenant head, and then within that I will create a new people rooted in Jesus Christ, and it will have many members, and these members are members one of another, and they all are, here's, here's another key text, they all are channeling grace. So first, um, first Peter 4, 9 and 10, where it defines what a spiritual gift is, and a spiritual gift is the stewarding of the grace of God. So, um, I have a, a, a gift that my church wants me to give them. It's called preaching. So every Sunday, what I'm doing, <coughs> what I'm doing, I pray and hope, is going to God, studying his word, learning things about him, delighting in him, and then sharing everything I've seen with my people. And they are receiving it through me. Grace is flowing through me. If they ever elevate me, to the origin, then they're compromising their allegiance to Jesus. But if they're thanking God for, here's another person that is channeling grace to me, word to me, love to me, help to me, and it's all coming from God, then God gets more glory, not less glory. So I would say, start with just looking at biblical texts where it says, admonish one another. And, and accountability is implied in the word admonish. And, and then go out from there to the principle that ultimately God has set up a world, a church, so that diverse organic unity gets him more glory than individual solitary relationships with Jesus.